Sometimes, life is yikes. And that's okay. You're not alone. Welcome, Welcome to, to Yikes Land. Land. Happy New Year's from Yikes Land. Happy New Year's from Yikes Land. Happy 2019, folks. You made it. We made it. I like it. That's good. That's right. That's right. I'm One your host, uh, July Hu, along with host Chris Fung. Uh, yeah. Thank you. Thank you guys for joining us here in the New Year's. We didn't want to leave you guys without a full fledged episode, but uh, obviously we're still on vacation. It's holidays and stuff like that. So this will be our first. Uh, I don't know what do we call this. I think they're supposed to be mini sodes. Is that what? Some, sure. But I feel like we need. I feel like we can. It. I feel like we can make our own our name. Own word. Our own word in Yikesland. This is your tiny sandwich. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> welcome, welcome to Yikesland, tiny sandwich. <laughs> I'm the bread. Jelani is the other bread. That's and right. And you guys are the filling a- in the middle that we want to reach. <laughs> <laughs> um. So today we are talking just a little bit uh, about New Year's resolutions and or inspirations. Mm -hmm. Um, This, I think, can be obviously a really difficult topic when you are feeling super depressed. Yeah. Because it's hard to even have hope for like the next 20 minutes. Yeah, that's (laughs) Um, true. But and, you know, for me, even I sometimes feel really stressed out about the concept of new year's resolutions because i'm always trying to do better and maybe failing to do better all the time and so that tends to be something that i can really easily beat myself up about Mm -hmm. so uh we're gonna try to talk about our new year's resolutions or inspirations or just things that we want uh but remember that you know no pressure uh it's important (laughs) To, you know, forgive ourselves for the things that we can't do and be really proud of the things that we can do, even if they are, today I stayed alive for 20 more minutes, today I got out of bed, today I took a shower, today I made myself a tiny sandwich. That's right. Today, you made it to today. That's what counts. Uh, New Year's resolutions, inspirations, things like that. Why don't you start us off here? Uh, Well, the last couple of years, my New Year's resolution has literally just been stay alive another year Mm. and so first of all i succeeded for 2018 great job (laughs) that's that's Um, what we want but you know and that sounds so silly to a person that is you know like doesn't struggle with depression or mental illness or other stuff like that like it can sound like a really you know stupid (laughs) resolution but uh to me the last couple of years it has been a really big deal um especially after the great depression so uh for me that actually is something that i'm really really proud of Mm -hmm. um that i'm literally just still here um and so i this year i'm gonna add a couple of things because i feel like i'm gaining strength or whatever Uh, yeah you are (laughs) but um But I just wanted to give myself a little celebration that I'm still here. And that was my that had been my New Year's resolution for 2018. And I did accomplish that. That's right. You got you're gaining strength. You got uh, not only your support system that's around you, but also you have the Yikes Land support system around you now. So we're setting up, you know, brackets and things to hold you up. So that's that's all good. So what do you what do you got? I've got a good toolbox now. I've got a break glass if and all of that. So uh, great. This year, I not there, so I'm not going with resolutions so much as inspirations for the year. Um, I have uh, three inspirations for 2019. (laughs) Um, None of them are going to make any sense, (laughs) but the first one is uh, the first one is a decorative. So you know, in like elementary school, uh, teachers put up these sort of decorative boards yeah. in the hallway that have nonsense on them you know mm-hmm. like kids handprints or like a picture of a turkey or yeah. whatever oh, yeah. um so my inspiration for 2019 my first one is a board one of those boards in an inner city elementary school i think it is in chicago um <laughs> that somebody sent me that's a skeleton it says ready for pe and then he has surrounding him uh, the caption, a positive attitude and gym shoes. And <laughs> so that was actually really meaningful to me, oddly, um, because I think 
when everything feels super out of control and hopeless and like you can never get it all together at once like yeah maybe you can take a shower one day and then like eat properly the next day and then like work a ton the next day but you can't do all the things at all the things at once it can feel really hopeless like how can I possibly have it all together um and so to me just breaking that down and being like all you need is a positive attitude and gym shoes yeah that's a, it's, it's a, actually it's a, really inspirational it's a really me. good message so uh, I'm halfway there because I already have gym shoes. Nice. Hey. Yay. <laughs> um, so inspiration is a positive so attitude and some gym shoes. one of them. Um, I'll let, I'm going to toss it back to you, actually, and let <laughs> you go with oh, the resolution. Oh, oh I caught it. it. I caught it. I okay. caught it. All right. It's got Are it, sir. Uh, yeah. I mean, see, resolutions are one of those things where I'd always thought, man, those never work out for anybody. You know, every, everybody always like, oh, I'm going to lose so much weight, and they don't, or, or I'm going gonna to do all of this. And... I have always thought that they're not really a great thing to do, but at the same time, like um, in recent years, like I have thought about it, like, okay, it's the new year. How am I going to, how, what am I going to do for the new year? You know, and how am I going to treat myself for this new year? Especially since I'm, I have dived deep into like, n like really researching or, or looking at like depression and mental health and like trying to better myself as well. So, I mean, like looking at, everything that's happened to me um i have you know like a plan of like how i want to take steps uh over the next year to try and like get things better though you know of course i've left room for me to like depression out you know because like that happens every now and then stall out but um things to keep my mind off of things uh creating distractions for myself that's always been a coping mechanism of my of myself and um one of the things that i have really been uh focusing on is like you know building up like the show and the network and things like that so uh re like a resolution of mine for the new year is to uh you know get get out there and like really push the show more and really like work and like dive into this positive work that we're doing here on yikes land so um i got some plans in the works guys i'm not gonna spoil this a surprise surprise but there is a re resolution of something um coming in a few months that i'd like to have us do and uh we'll see we'll see what happens and we'll, we'll see there's some uh cool things i like to do for the show get some guests on and do some other things so like that it's more about like my resolution is to try and commit to focusing on one thing right and like um my commitment is to try and commit to the network um as a whole as i've i've created because i felt myself wax and wane on it uh because of like the depression not because i didn't enjoy it yeah. and so uh my my new year's resolution is to commit and focus on like actually uh bettering you know the product and the thing that we're trying to do here at not only pop samurai but yikes time as well and try and get it up so that's my resolution for the year. Okay. Um, I guess tossing it back to me then, I will talk about my second inspiration, which kind of builds off of the first one. But um, I've always been great at staying alive at the bare minimum, mm. but maybe not so great at being actually positive. Um, and that's something that I think I'm trying to work on, especially being around you on the podcast, because I know that you focus on positivity a lot. And I kind of was always like, oh, like I was one of those people that was like, that's not that helpful, like mm -hmm. because life is actually terrible for me. So like whatever. Uh, but it has actually been beneficial to me. Yay. Um, so thank you for that. Uh, so my second inspiration is a fat stuffed animal sheep. He's very round. His name is Claude Von Stroke, the sheep, not the DJ. Okay. Uh, and he's he's a really positive guy. He actually has his own Instagram. Um, <laughs> maybe we'll have him on as a guest. So, yeah. He's very talkative. No. Um, but he, it's sort of this like character that I've built up in my head that's like just a constantly positive guy, no matter what happens, like no matter what setbacks are. Um, and he should be our first guest. So <laughs> he should be our constant mascot. That's what happens. Here. So uh, yeah, I think he was born and raised in Yikesland, obviously. Yes. Um, but just having sort of this this idea of like the a voice or a character in my head that's not even me that is really positive uh has also kind of started to seep into my own thinking where like when i get sad i can literally think 
I mean, this sounds insane for an adult to be saying, but I can literally think what would Claude Von Stroke say in mm-hmm. this situation, and that has helped me be more positive. So my second inspiration and who I want to be more like is Claude Von Stroke. Nice. <laughs> Uh, man. Uh, so here's, a, here's the thing I'm going to talk to you about real quick. So, uh, no, I'm not going to do it here. I want to do it in, uh, uh, in the new year. I'll talk about it in the new year. Uh, not do it here, but yeah, uh, that's, yeah, that's, that's a nice, uh, great, uh, inspiration there. Um, yeah, uh, this podcast has been, uh, hopefully very beneficial, but, uh, to other people, but it's been very beneficial to myself and that's where I've uh, been able, that's where I, I came up with the whole uh, break glass in case of depression emergency uh, idea since when we first incepted this whole show and I started looking at like yeah I should really start like taking steps to try and like get things better and so I'd like to you know uh, you know really say well thank you to all the people who are thank you for joining me on this podcast and everything like that and it's really great that you're here and also like seeing the analytic and analytic and and you're very like you're you're very like analytical what's the word analytical yeah. that's the word yeah. i can't speak <laughs> analytical you're very analytical uh towards depression and mental health and i think that has been very positive into like my thinking of everything and so like you have gone through it you have thought like many hours and probably oh, yeah. days yeah. on like <laughs> everything that is depression and your know, things that you've dealt with and so seeing your perspective from it and looking looking at it and and seeing it from your side uh has really like has has changed like my view of it and really like aided me and like looking at it from a different point of view and really like seeing it from not only my side but from another different point of view and it's really helped me like try and break down what I need to do or what should be done um and so like it's been very positive and very helpful so my new year like inspiration has been you you have been like very positive and inspirational to to me and how um you affected like my thinking of mental health and and everything like that and i think that we uh not only for the show have complimented each other on that because i've just been super positive and like emotion like driven and you have been very like analytical as you said and and very just like i've i've thought about it and like you're very calculating into it so it's 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 very interesting to see that so i um thank you for that and thank you for being the inspiration well thank you um and so my final new year's inspiration and then i realized i do have one resolution so okay i lied earlier oh no <laughs> you liar i will address no. that later but uh my final new year's inspiration uh is kind of a constant inspiration for me um But it's my dad. I'm already a lot like him um, in a lot of sort of structural ways in terms of how my brain is set up and how it thinks and the things that I care about in life. Um, But he has always taken the long-term, big-picture view of things. Um, And I think that's something that can be really, really hard to have when you also have depression and you're like at times – not sure you're gonna make it like another day and so you're like well why take like why look big picture when like I can barely survive the next couple of hours Mm. um but having that set up in my head uh I think has always been really helpful and it gives me a lot of hope for the future Mm -hmm. um he's a person that uh everybody wants to be around all the time like in college he would come to visit and everybody, all my friends would beg me, like, can we take your dad out to dinner? Yeah, I, I legitimately, I and love he, your oh, father. Oh, yeah, and you and I my le- dad I legitimately <laughs> love your father. Had a big connection when he the is, first time you met. He is, uh, in a, uh, Papa Fong out there is an amazing <laughs> gentleman, and uh, he, he has such a great outlook on everything. And uh, I, uh, just that long conversation I had with him uh, when I did meet him was amazing. And, uh, talking to him and uh he's i mean behind the scenes guys uh he he has he was the inception of uh my yike and uh (laughs) that's where uh he's he started that and uh we have picked up that ball and carried it and hopefully it'll be a thing for our podcast for the you know on foreseeable future like he is he's he's a great guy yeah yeah he's a solid dude so um just uh taking kind of that big picture view where 
you're always moving forward and even though sometimes you're not moving forward as quickly sometimes you have to like give yourself a break uh because you're burnt out or you're sad um but then knowing that you're going to get back up again and pick up steam again um that's something that uh i think that i would like to think about more uh and bring into my life more in 2019 so my dad is my third inspiration for 2019 wow. um and now i f my forgotten resolution which is that i'm gonna go back to therapy in 2019 <gasps> really well, yeah Look at i that. have a emailed my old therapist who i really liked and so i would like to start seeing him again um oh, wow. it's not because of anything bad that happened it's more just that i'm finally at, at points in my life i don't want to think about depression and mental illness too too much outside of talking about it in the podcast because sometimes it sort of burns me out to like mm -hmm. think about my own reality and how this is how my brain is and oh my god is it going to be like this forever etc <laughs> um but I think I'm kind of in a place now where I do want to start re-examining and getting into the nitty gritty of working on the way that my emotions are set up and maybe doing some CBT, DBT type of situation. But mm -hmm. uh, having a medical professional to talk to, again, I think will be nice. And I already know somebody that I trust. So I'm excited for that. And that's my resolution. That's I hope really, that's that really you can great. help me stick to it. <laughs> that's really great. I hope so. I want everyone to, to message uh, Chris here and just say, hey, have you done that yet? Because yeah, keep me it's, it's a positive thing. I mean, again, therapy doesn't work for everybody. But if you can commit to it for a while and, and actually go to it, 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 it can be helpful just to talk to somebody. And so, I mean, I think we stress it a lot on this podcast about like, hey, if you can't, uh, it's not it's not helpful for you to close yourself off. What you need to do is reach out, you know, and while it's it can be difficult in the state that we are in um, talking to anybody you can um, is really helpful. And so. Um, that's that's really great news. I'm I'm, I'm happy for you, and I, I would Thank hope you. that like yeah, that's really great. Uh, I mean my final I guess we'll hit on the final thing here for the for the podcast. But my final resolution for 2019 is um, yeah, I'm also probably uh, I'm also going to be seeking uh, so uh, talking to a specialist and also probably seeing if I can maybe get to uh, therapy as well. But I mean uh, it has been uh, quite some time since I had anything like that, and uh, we'll see how the 2019 plays out but i would i would like to in my mind eventually build up to getting back to um figuring out more about the intricacies of like my my depression and everything like that so um it's That's great it's a great thing so yes um what do you want to close this off yeah well um if you guys have any other resolutions or inspirations that you want to tell us about that uh, you think can help you in 2019 or even just get through the next couple of hours feel free to reach out you can find us on twitter at yikesland on facebook at yikesland you can email us at yikesland at gmail.com or you can hit up our instagram at yikesland underscore podcast um, like we always say, if you guys are having a hard time with the new year or just in general, please reach out and talk to somebody. If you need to, you can call the National Suicide Prevention Lifeline. It's completely confidential and they're available 24-7. That's at 1-800-273-8255. If you're having a hard time, that is a fantastic resource. Um, and otherwise, we just wanted to thank you for being here to help us bring in a new year we always say just try to make it to tuesday but this one's extra special because you made it to a whole nother year so that's right we're proud of you and we are so happy that you are here with us that's right uh this has been your host uh your yike your friend uh and hopefully your family uh jelani poon and chris bone yeah thanks See for being here guys thanks for enjoying this tiny sandwich folks out there and uh enjoy the views from yikes land um see you in the new year my yikes Thank you.